The year is 2055. A nuclear missile lands in Los Angeles, killing millions, for which the US government blames an artificial intelligence that has declared war on humanity. What's the matter? They're coming to get me. To prevent a repeat of the tragedy, the Western world bans all things related to robotics. However, the republics of New Asia continue to produce dangerous machines. Moreover, they develop technology enabling the placement of human intellect into robotic bodies with any face. These creations are called simulants. A decade after the destruction of Los Angeles, Joshua Taylor and his pregnant wife Maya are spending time in a coastal cabin when their guard, a simulant named Haroon, brings in a captured American soldier who was monitoring them. He informs the couple that they have been detected by the Battle Orbital Station NOMAD, an acronym for North American Orbital Mobile Aerospace Defense, which will soon arrive. While Maya packs their belongings, Joshua asks the prisoner to tell the Americans that there is no Nirmata in the house, and insists on halting the operation. Maya, entering at the wrong time, learns that her husband is an undercover agent, aiding special services in capturing the AI creator. Maya flees with the simulant guards, and as Joshua tries to catch up, missiles from Nomad destroy the escape boats. Five years later, special services continue to hunt the mysterious AI creator, Nirmata. Joshua, still grieving over his lost wife, is forced to see a therapist. He works in Los Angeles as part of a robot disposal team, believing them to be just machines. Meanwhile, the US government completes the Nomad project. Now, a massive space battle station equipped with all kinds of advanced weapons patrols, the skies over Earth, tracking any hint of robotic terrorists in US-controlled territories and ensuring the safety of soldiers fighting AI in New Asia. Joshua often reminisces about his life with Maya and how he told her about his family who died in the explosion. He lost an arm and a leg, now replaced by prosthetics. One day, General Andrews and Colonel Howell contact him, attempting to recruit him to find and destroy a new weapon developed by Nirmata, Alpha-O, capable of destroying Nomad and potentially turning the tide of power. Joshua, still resentful of the military for the strike that killed his wife Maya, refuses. However, the military shows him a video of Maya, allegedly taken a few days earlier, and offers to reunite him with her if he leads a military team to find the bunker. Joshua agrees. The group flies to New Asia, and en route, Colonel Howell tells him about the death of her two sons in the war, explaining her hatred for machines. Disguised by Nomad, the Americans land in New Asia. Joshua leads the team to the former lab site, now invisible. Soldiers try to extract information from locals about the bunker, but Joshua realizes it's just buried and finds the entrance. The soldiers successfully penetrate the lab's territory, where the weapon is believed to be stored, but the scientists there manage to lower a protective screen. While the soldiers try to open it, the scientists call the local police. Howell's group is forced to defend themselves, and Joshua remains alone at the bunker door. The code works, and he discovers inside only a robotic simulant in the form of a child, engrossed in watching cartoons, unafraid of the soldier. Then, a wounded female scientist enters and orders the girl to run and find Nirmata. The girl, followed by Joshua, escapes outside and sees the soldiers rushing to the helicopter, as Nomad is going to destroy the laboratory, unaware that a homing mine has attached to one of their backpacks. An explosion destroys the machine. Only those who didn't make it to the helicopter, including Joshua, survive. Moments later, a missile from Nomad destroys the laboratory. The next morning, Joshua wakes up in a boat on the riverbank, finding the girl who found him. He tries to send her away and rushes to help his injured comrade. Realizing they can't escape from the field actively searched by robots, Joshua drags the injured into an unknown house, where the girl silently enters and sits in front of the TV. Joshua turns it off, but as soon as he steps away, the child telekinetically turns it back on. The soldier realizes the girl has the ability to remotely control technology. Here, Howell gets in touch. Joshua reports that the weapon is in the form of a child, and the colonel orders it to be destroyed since they can't transport it back to the USA. Then, they are surrounded and arrested by Asian police simulants. A peasant simulant enters the house, examines the girl, calls her a miracle, and prepares to kill the Americans. But he himself is killed by a bullet from Joshua. Joshua's attention is caught by the girl's drawing. He shows her a photo of Maya and realizes she knows her. But with the police almost at the door, Joshua carries his wounded comrade to a car and orders the girl to get in as well. 
Their escape is aided by a dog who picks up a grenade and carries it to the robot police. Meanwhile, Colonel Howell and one of her soldiers escape from captivity, subdue a simulant, and steal his car. Joshua's car breaks down on the road. The second soldier, realizing Joshua intends to search for his wife, orders his partner to turn back. But Joshua promises to take him to his former partner and friend who can help them escape. Then, the girl, realizing the second soldier is about to die, stops his heart. Meanwhile, a family pickup drives by and the driver kindly offers to help them reach the city. Joshua names the little girl Alfie and they get into the car. Later, Colonel Howell finds the dead soldier, downloads his memories onto a chip, inserts it into a simulant, and learns that Joshua and the girl went to the city. Meanwhile, news spreads of a kidnapped child simulant and the military stops their car at the city entrance. But Alfie disables all the electricity in the area and telepathically steers the car, ramming the checkpoint and escaping from the soldiers. After parting with the frightened family, Joshua and Alfie head to the factory where Drew works. Alfie asks who created Joshua if he's not a robot and what heaven is where his parents went. She becomes sad that she can't go there because she's not human. On the way, Joshua recalls how Drew showed him Maya, believed by the special services to be Nirmata's daughter, and gave him a tracker ring to locate her. Soon they meet Drew, who, after examining Alfie, sends her with his friend to an apartment upstairs, telling Joshua that the girl could become the most powerful weapon on the planet as her ability to control any technology will grow exponentially. Joshua asks Drew to track Maya's tracker. Though skeptical about rescuing the woman, Drew agrees. Meanwhile, the police find Alfie, attack Drew's apartment, and kill his girlfriend Simulant. But when a policeman is about to take the child, Joshua arrives, shoots everyone, and takes Alfie. Colonel Howell and her assistant, having tracked Joshua, also burst into the apartment, but the fugitives are already gone. Maya's tracker leads them to the coast, and the men realize they're heading to the couple's former cottage. Joshua searches the house and finds the ring. Then, they are again attacked by the police, and Drew is mortally wounded, but manages to tell that Maya is Nirmata. The pair are captured by new Asian forces, led by Harun, a soldier simulant, and Maya's former guard. There, Joshua remembers how Maya told him her father was a great AI designer, and after his death, simulants adopted and cared for her better than any human. Harun takes Joshua and Alfie to a coastal village, declaring on the way that the Los Angeles nuclear tragedy was due to a human coding error and that the US government unfairly blames AI, which only wants to coexist peacefully with humanity. At that moment, Nomad appears over the village. Everyone is distracted, and Alfie releases Joshua, who hides under a boat's hull, witnessing the aftermath of the American strike and hearing simulants discuss Alfie's ability to destroy Nomad if she boards it but Alfie herself wouldn't survive. At night, Joshua finds the girl in the village and leads her to the boat when Colonel Howell begins the attack. Robots and simulants defend, but a huge tank moves in, destroying everything around. Alfie, seeing this, rushes to save her kind. The tank is blown up, but it's still dangerous as Howell is inside, sending robots loaded with explosives into the village. One reaches its target and explodes. Alfie stops the second one, but she gets shot. Joshua picks up the child and takes her to Harun. Alfie is urgently taken to Nirmata, who turns out to be in a coma since the attack on her home. The girl was created based on the biological unborn daughter of Joshua and Maya, scanned in the mother's womb. Soon, Joshua and Alfie arrive at a monastery where Maya is under the care of monk simulants. Since robots cannot harm Nirmata, she remains in a coma and cannot die. Alfie asks Joshua to help her mother go to heaven and he tearfully disconnects Maya from the life support. But then Colonel Howell arrives at the monastery with soldiers. She tries to scan the dead woman's brain to obtain all her secrets but Ds from Harun's bomb, who asks Joshua to destroy your nomad and save the civilization of Simulans. The man and the girl try to escape, but they are captured by American soldiers and taken to Los Angeles, while Nomad destroys the monastery. General Andrews believes that Joshua has captured the weapon, following his orders, and thus trusts him to kill Alfie with an electroshock device. The man does so, whispering something to the girl before her deactivation. Afterward, he takes the robot's body to a disposal site, but the general learns that Joshua ordered her to shut down but not die. Meanwhile, Alfie stops the car and the pair escapes. They reach the spaceport and manage to fly out when General Andrews orders all flights to return. 
but Alfie telepathically seizes control of the plane and directs it to Nomad, just as the General orders a widespread attack on the remaining simulant bases worldwide. An evacuation alert sounds through the station as Joshua plants explosives with a timer, and Alfie temporarily disables Nomad's power. She then runs to the cargo area, where simulants are being transported, finds a copy of her mother Maya, and pulls her into a garden, activating her with a memory chip downloaded during her life support disconnection. Meanwhile, Nomad launches missiles at simulant settlements, and Joshua tries to reach an escape pod. Then General Andrews activates a robot, Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man, who first grabs Alfie and then Joshua, who steps in to protect her. Then Nomad starts to explode. Joshua has to eject the capsule, with only Alfie inside. Nomad continues to fall apart as Joshua sees Maya in the station's garden, embraces, and kisses her one last time. On Earth, Alfie safely lands in New Asia and sees its residents celebrating the destruction of Nomad and the onset of peace. The film ends there.